back everybody so today we're going to try kbs blueberry from founders so blueberry imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels um bourbon barrel series celebrating 20 years of kbs which is kind of cool um i might have to see how many kbs's i have maybe i'll do all of them or something this year i was actually looking it must be over there that I've got I've got one or two over there. Also, um, I believe French Toast Bastard just came out too, but I didn't pick that up yet. Um, I need to see what year I have. I think I have 22. 22 or 21. But uh, this one, 11.2% ABV, bottled on 71023. This is 916, 91523. Um, usually, no matter what, I'll pick up a four pack. Usually, I wait until they go on sale, uh, especially at Myers. I paid $4.29 for this one. Um, usually, I'll let them go on sale. And they always have them. They make so much. And um, that's when I'll pick them up. Because uh, I think there was another one I was going to pick up that I saw on sale. But usually they'll have 3 to $4 off a four-pack of them. So that's when I'll pick them up. I do like blueberries. I'm not sure what this is going to taste like. Um... So, celebrating two decades with KBS in honor of the 20th anniversary, we've given legendary beer a dose of Michigan blueberries. Okay. Okay. I do like them. So, uh, layers of vanilla, coffee, chocolate, and oak, or chocolate, oak, and bourbon barrel notes. Hmm. Uh... Almost like a Tootsie Roll colored head um, in there. Pretty much all, I would say, half small, half medium. Not even a quarter finger of head, but this glass does go up. Color. I would say it's black. I remembered this time. You can't see through it. I can't see through it. I would say black. I think I just watched one... Of my other, it was just recent, and I thought I did it, and it I didn't see it on there. But, yeah, it's black. It's like it should be. Let's go ahead and smell. Um, this has probably been sitting out about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. I've done uh, three other beer reviews. So let's go ahead and smell. I get that fudgy chocolate in there, maybe a little bit of vanilla, vanilla fudgy chocolate. I get a little bit of that oaky bourbon. I want to say tart, but I don't know if that's pushing it. Yeah, I'm not going to go with I can pick up blueberries. Um, I think that vanilla fudgy chocolate stick out the most. Then that oaky bourbon is what you get next. And I'm going to stop it there. I, I don't smell blueberries. Let's go ahead and taste. There's definitely... A tartness. Um, I'm really trying to think here. We get chocolate covered blueberries. This is more chocolate. I'm trying to think what they taste like. I know it was a milk chocolate but I know you got a little bit of that blueberry, but it seems like that blueberry stayed around a little bit longer. This almost goes chocolate tart back to chocolate, fudgy chocolate. It's definitely that tart fruitiness, tart blueberry. Could... 
could you pick out blind that that's a blueberry? I almost want to say yes. I'm pretty sure it's there. But it's hard because, like I said, that fudgy chocolate vanilla, a little oaky bourbon um, is up front. You, that tartness kind of comes in. It stays, but that fudgy chocolate's there comes back. But it seems like the more my palate warms up to it, the more tartness is there like it sticks around wasn't the lizard one a blueberry lizard of cause or something like that and that was a big miss hmm I think this works. I wish it was more blueberry. I might get... I think there's a little alcohol in the back too. Yeah, just a little bit in the back. Um, It's good. Is this going to age well? I don't think so. But we're definitely going to try it if I can find a four-pack. Um, yeah, it, it's almost like the more I drink, like that first drink was more fudgy chocolate. And the more I drink, that that tart fruitiness kind of comes out more and more and stays in your, in your mouth longer. Um, uh, I'm going to go four out of five. Um, it's okay, but I almost want to say something's very sweet. Like it's coming off as like a cough syrup in there. Because I think I did read, I thought I read something was sweet. Yeah, it does say sweet. Um, I think it's a little too sweet. With that blueberry, I, I don't want to say blueberry syrup, tart, tart fruit um, with a hint of blueberry. And then that fudgy chocolate, I think it's a little too much. Like you could say this is definitely a dessert stout. I would go four out of five. I, I think the sweetness is overdone a little too much, in my opinion. Let's check on tat. Uh, 14 of my friends have checked it in. 4.11 out of five. Almost 4,000 people have checked it in. 4.01 out of five. So let's just say right there. Um, finally, a delicious blueberry beer. Um, I don't know... Uh, he's saying my search is over. He gave it a four. This is Kevin G. Um, I don't know if he's talking about, I think Lizard of Cause or something. I remember that years and years ago, maybe 2019, 20, 2020, maybe something like that. Um, let's just see. Super interesting. Um, 4.5. Um, 4.25, 4, yeah, so it's kind of, uh, around there. Um, KBS with a blueberry kiss, 21090 gave it a 4, um, not a ton of blueberry, like I, on the nose, just like I said, uh, but the palette sure does have a lot, like I said. I wouldn't call it blueberry, though. Like I said, I could pick out that it is blueberry, even if it was blind, but more of that tartness, fruitiness, it's almost like the middle part of a blueberry, not the skin. But I understand what they're saying. Um, they had that in August. Um, but yeah, 
If you can find this, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.